upload all my views, I'm Soulfire, and today I will be showing you how to do the multiplayer system on uh, Bedrock servers. Now I'm just using the Hive as an example because it is the least glitchy of them all. Uh, and I don't actually have any friends on right now to give an example, but I could get one on in a minute. But first I'm just going to show you how to do it. So step one is that you need to be friends with them. Now what that means is that you need to use this friends item I'm holding. Not friends in the game bar, but friends in the server. So open this up. Click add a friend, and then enter whatever their username is, and all numbers are necessary. So make sure you check whatever their game bar name is to make sure that you get everything in there. Because if this isn't, because if all the numbers aren't in there, it won't be able to find them, and it won't be able to identify them. And they also have to be on the server. If they're not on the server, you can't send them a request. So that's how you make friends. Then, if you want to play like games with them and stuff, you need to go into the party. Now, the way this works is you click invite players then invite a friend now none of mine are currently online so I can't quite show you how this will work but you will invite all the friends that you want to so invite everybody that you want to the party and then any game that you join you'll be in the same game with them now only the party leader meaning whoever sent the invites or the party odor part party odor party owner only the party leader or owner will actually be able to select what the game is not just any random person so, make sure it's someone that you trust with that, I guess. I don't know. But that's how it works on the Hive, and that's how it works on most other servers, to my knowledge. So, go to Friends, send them a request, and then they have to accept it. Go to Party. Now, if they're in the server and it doesn't say that they're online, then what? Then they need to leave the server and come back to the server, and then you sh should get the notification that they have come online. Now, I'm just going to show you this example in uh, a couple other servers. Uh just to make sure that it's the same thing. So here I'm in the CubeCraft server, and I'm going to show you the same thing on how to do that in this one. So, go to Social Menu. I'm right-clicking it, and nothing's happening. Okay, then Friends, Friend List, Friend Request. So go in here, or not that one, back, sorry. Add a friend. Add a friend, enter their name, all numbers. Friend Request, that means you'll get whatever it is. Then this just tells you who's online, I'm pretty sure. Oh, stupid, go back. Hold on. It's not working for me. Okay, there we go. Friends. So, friend list, all these things. And then if you go to party, then invite player and invites. That's outgoing, that's incoming. Same thing, only the party owner will be able to select the game. And then profile and ignored. This is people that I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is just the blocked. This is essentially the blocked section. I've never actually used this. And then profile, this is how you can just edit your profile, game statistics. You can click on the game to see how much you've done of each. So like for me, the most I've done is Battle Arena here. So if I click that, free for all view stats, these are my stats on that. And that's, I believe, what other people can look at too. Yeah, that's how you do it. Friends, then parties, same process. It can be a little bit glitchy on this server. Hive's definitely the best one. Hey guys, now I'm in the Lifeboat server. The lifeboat server blah, blah, blah. i'm going to show you how to do it in here so first you need to select the friends option add a friend or view friend requests right here to make sure you get into the same party uh, or to make sure everybody's online view friends these are my current friends they're offline now that one of them are on so what that means and then once you've got it all set up go to party then invite player invite party invite players and then incoming invites and same as all the other servers I kept referencing, uh, only the party leader will be able to select the game. So make sure it's someone that you trust, make sure that it's someone you know. My recommendation is that if you've got one person on the team, like, so for me, I'm the one YouTuber amongst my friends, so I'm in charge. Since I know what videos would be best for my channel, I would recommend the same thing if you're doing this with a friend that's a YouTuber. But that pretty much sums up the how-to tutorial. You don't actually need to be friends with them in the game bar, uh, you just need to be able to find them in the game bar. You just need to be able to view their name, and then you will be good. So be I would definitely recommend being a friend with them so you can see all the numbers. And then for the little hashtags in the name, don't add those. So like if it's someone so like for example, I'm gonna use Megamind's name as the example. It says Megamind one seven seven, and that's it. There's no more numbers. Or no, there is. So it says Megamind one seven seven. That's his gamer tag. Then it has a hashtag or a pound symbol, or a number symbol, or whatever you want to call it, and then it has some more 
numbers. It says 8270. So the way you would write that would not be Megamind 117 hashtag 8270. It'd be Megamind 1178270. So completely ignore the hashtag in that. And yeah, that pretty much sums up this how to. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and shout out this was. Uh, this video was requested by my friend Wallet on Discord. So, Wallet, I hope this uh, answered your question and that it worked out well for you. I'll see y'all in the next video.